what's going on guys um normally i don't do game reviews on my channel and you guys know this you've been around my channel for a while you've probably never seen me do a game review on my channel i don't remember doing any um because i don't get a lot of times to 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 really play video game between doing reactions and you know, maintaining business and all of this other stuff that I do. I don't really get time to play video games as much as I used to. So, um, I'm doing this Last of Us Part 2 review. I'm doing this because I was a fan and I'm not anymore. <laughs> I think I talked about this in my last update video very slightly, one a little offish, you know, and I said, let me do a full review of this just to put my two cents in there since, you know, this topic is a very hot topic right now. And I know probably a couple of you guys that are on my channel, um, you know, you played, you've probably played this game or because of the leaks you didn't play it um so let me tell you guys my history with this game first let me start off with the history that i have with this game right i played the last of us um the first one um both i played both of them right the um the original version and the remastered version on the ps4 and you guys know, and this is part of the reason why I'm actually doing this review on the channel too, because you guys know I'm a stickler for, for good story. I love a good story. I'd rather have, I'd rather watch something with a very good consistent story than something is just boom, baff, boom, baff, just entertainment all over. I'd rather... I don't say I don't enjoy entertainment and entertaining and action and all of that good stuff. But I prefer a good story because why? Because it actually makes me think about things and it can add value to my life. You know, so I like a good story, something I can learn from, you know, um, and to debate with other people. You know, and this is one of the things over the years where people say that video games is this and that and, and whatever. And The Last of Us just gave me a different perspective about certain things with these two characters, Ellie and Joel, right? So, when it comes on to video games, I'm not such a stickler where if there's leaks about it, I don't want to see it. Like, I usually see, if there's leaks, I usually want to see the leaks. Um, because that would tell me if I'm going to like the game or not. Now, gameplay has nothing to do with story. First off, let me get that off bat to you guys. Gameplay has nothing to do with story. We can judge all of those things separately when it comes on to video games. Gameplay, me um, gameplay mechanics, graphics, sound design, all of that stuff we can take out of the picture and judge them differently but let me say this when it comes on to the last of us i didn't love the last of us for gameplay graphics or nothing like that it was the story if you ask anyone that has played the last of us and you ask them what did you enjoy most about this game they will tell you the story so because of that because of that you can safely say that this is a story based game right it's story driven it is meant to stir up your thinking it is meant to to let you think about things in a different way how could i have done that differently would i have made the same decision that joel made in the first game 
would have made that same decision. I mean, he lost his daughter in the beginning of the game, right? He lost his daughter in the beginning of the game and then ended up saving a girl that became his daughter throughout the game. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful story. And then instead of she was the cure to the sickness because she was immune to the sickness, right? And she was the cure and she wanted to sacrifice herself, but Joel couldn't do it. So he killed everybody. It was shocking because it was very unexpected. Now that's how you tell a great story because they have you thinking, would you have made that same decision to save your daughter or would you save the world? Most parents wouldn't. That's the thing. Most parents would never, would never want to sacrifice somebody that they've come to love over time, regardless if they're blood or not. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into The Last of Us Part 2. The reason why this game was so highly anticipated. Now, let me tell you guys something. I am a person that loves consistency. You guys on this channel know that when it comes on to um, TV shows that we watch over here, anime that I watch over here. I love consistency. Um, anime, anime does that more so than TV shows. TV shows, after a certain amount of seasons, they start to decline. And it's expected. But it's good when they start to actually kind of climb back up there. I like that. But don't think that I'm going to sit down like a fanboy and be like, oh, they can't make no mistakes. And the story is always good. No. If the story is trash, I'm going to tell you the story is trash. Like the Vikings, like Viking season five was absolute garbage. Except for a couple of, I mean, barring a couple of episodes. The season was trash. Okay? Guys, this game, and I'm not trying to spoil it for you. So if you have not played The Last of Us 2 yet, if you are playing this as a standalone game and you never played the first one, do yourself a favor and play the first one first. Okay? Do yourself a favor, play that first game first to get an understanding of why people are so upset about this game. Before I jump into it, I just want to tell you guys, if you haven't played it yet, I'm going to start spoiling the game. So spoiler alert. So if you haven't played a game yet, you didn't see the leaks or anything and you still haven't bought it yet and you're still waiting on that money to come in so you can play this game. Do not watch any further. Just understand that. I don't like the game. I didn't play it. So you still have a decision to make. I'm not going to try to sway you in any direction, either or either. I am just here to talk about this. Right? And telling you what my experience is. I did not play The Last of Us Part 2. Partly because of the leaks. But I still wanted to see this happen. So there's a channel on YouTube... I think the name of the channel is Gamer's Little Playground, if I'm not mistaken. What he does is he plays the game and he kind of formats the game into a into a movie setting where it's like it's kind of like it's a playthrough, but it's more precise. It's more you know, you know, he's not going all over the place to look for extra trinkets and stuff like that. He just plays the game right through and makes a movie out of it, basically right and he uploads it to youtube right i've watched a lot of series a lot of games a lot of games that i was never interested in and stuff like that i have watched it on this channel if i'm not mistaken that's the name of the channel gamers little playground so i just want to shout that channel out um you know if anything by the end of this video if I didn't get the name right, I might say it again at the end once I look it up. I make sure. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm about 90% sure that that's the name of the channel. Gamer's Little Playground. I don't want to mess up my flow right now um, to go and look it up. 
guys um you guys as i stated earlier i love me a good story man i love me a good story and they had an opportunity to build on that now i'm gonna take you back a little bit to talk about one of my favorite games of all times where i still consider the goat of games especially since um it's my favorite game of all time when it comes on to story based games right and that is god of war if you want to say god of war 4 you can say that um god of war changed the game i'm not a sucker for reviews i still want to see it for myself whether i'm watching it somebody else play it or i'm playing it myself i still want to see it for myself to judge it for myself in its entirety so reviews they don't sway me yeah we saw all the reviews that came out for the last of us these 10 out of 10s and stuff like that and you you, you can't blame people for their opinions might seem like they were paid reviews i'm not here to judge based on that we are here to judge based on what we've seen in the game compared to this is supposed to be a continuation, a sequel to a story-based game. Build on character. Now, let me tell you guys what I expected in this game. First, before we jump into what actually happened. What I expected in this game was basically on a, just on a basic level more character development for ellie because we already knew from all the gameplay that, that she was going to be basically taking over so we're gonna get to play with ellie more than we play with anybody else joel his brother tommy you know what i'm saying anybody else that they were gonna add to the roster we're gonna get to play with ellie more than anything she was she's on the cover everything is about her no problem whatsoever with that. She's one of the main characters. We expected them to grow up over time. I mean, we've been waiting, what, seven years for this game? So we expected that much. So character development is awesome. So reviews, when it comes on to reviews, I don't pay much attention to reviews because reviews are personal opinions most of the time, personal experience most of the time. So you have to have the, that experience for yourself. Now, when Corey Barlaw came, when he made that video and he was crying about the reviews, the Metacritic score, all of this good stuff, right? I felt for him. I felt for him. But I still wanted to see for myself. I still wanted to see for myself. Because... God of War is very precious to me when it comes on to the story of the game. And a lot of people think that all the God of Wars that came that came before that didn't have any story. You are so wrong. Yeah, it was not your typical, you know what I'm saying, gameplay-wise, but it there was story. And the lore of God of War is very deep. It's very deep. You know, it's very deep. It's just that you probably skipped over the cutscenes and didn't understand what the hell that was going on. But being a fan of the game from God of War, the first one, I paid attention to everything because it gripped me. It was my favorite game on PS2. And God of War, I think it was God of War 2 and, and God, of, God of War 1 that came out on PS2. What, what am I talking about PS2? Was it? Yeah. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Um, regardless. Regardless. The games came out. <laughs> but anyways. Um... It was my favorite game, so I had to see for myself. So when I played God of War 4, I was over the moon. I stand back, I enjoyed the graphic, but the story, the continuance of the story, the little nutmegs, the little, the little, um, what they call them in, in video game world, um, <laughs> the, the little, um, um, I, I can't even remember what the hell they call him because I don't play video games that much anymore. It's like I'm not even in that world. Um, 
and it's right at the tip of my tongue too. But you, you guys know what I'm talking about. If it comes to me, it comes to me. Anyways, so the little things that the little callbacks that they made, you know, to the past games and, you know, Athena showing up, Zeus showing up, just to let you know that this is not a reboot, reboot of the story. It's a continuance of the story, right? So those little things that were included, man, just made you feel so good that they, you get what I'm saying? It was well-structured. Kratos has a son. You know what I'm saying? Now he's going up against Norse mythology. It's just, it's just awesome. Everything about that story was awesome. Them going to the, the top of the mountain to, 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 for the, the ash. A lot of people said, you know, they had their qualms with the story. I think it was a brilliant story told. It wasn't a 10 out of 10 story for me. You get what I'm saying? It wasn't a 10 out of 10 story for me, but it gripped me. It let me feel for the characters. And that's all I want out of a video game. All I want out of a great story, right? So, when it came on to The Last of Us Part 2, I saw the leaks. And I was like, okay, the leaks are the leaks, but I need context. And the only way to get context is to wait for the game come out and to see what took place up until these particular scenes that were leaked happen. What happened? I need to know because if it goes, you know what I'm saying? Like I was fully expecting, and this is no joke. I was fully expecting them to kill Joel in this game. I'm going to tell you guys why. Joel, of course, after all these years, he's getting old. You can't expect the old man to be going around being all super badass all the time. You know, eventually... You, you know what I mean? You know, he had all these people after him, the Fireflies, and all these different people that are looking for him because of what he did. Plus, they're looking for, for, for Ellie, too, because it wasn't a secret that Ellie was the cure. So all these people are after him because of what he did to the Fireflies, killing them all, saving Ellie, right? I didn't expect... I did not expect what I got now mind you this game does not have a lot of gameplay I'm gonna say this one more time this game does not have a lot of gameplay so don't expect to go in there yeah there are hours of you running around and fighting people but the majority of the game is story it's cutscenes cutscenes galore long ass cutscenes too <laughs> Right. But as I said, you can't go into this game expecting be, expecting anything else because it's a story based game. As I said, this is the graphics are awesome, but I cannot judge this game based on graphics and sound. I just can't because the story is the main. The story is the main. It's the main thing that drives this game is why so many people are a fan of this franchise. It's the story, man. And if you mess that up, everybody's going to hate it. Everybody who, well, not everybody, but you get what I'm saying. The majority of people are going to hate this game. Now, all right. So let's talk about that one scene where Joel gets killed, right? We're talking about a, parano a, a paranoid dude. His brother also knows what's going on, that people are looking for him. He literally told his brother four years ago what he did. This is at the beginning of the game when the game started out, right? He told his brother what happened because Tommy didn't know. He told his brother what happened. How he come to tell, um, come to save Ellie, but he didn't tell Ellie what happened, right? So Tommy said, "I would take. I'm gonna take that to my grave." Now I'm just paraphrasing everything, okay? So they've been running this whole time, 
in this town now and all of this good stuff, right? Now, now we have this new character called Abby, right? I'm not going to comment on the, the physique of the character and all this stuff. There's no, it's a woman. Their intended, their intended position when creating the character was that it was going to be a woman. Mind you, with a lot of muscles. Let's just accept that and move on, right? Um, so we get to introduce to this character that, you know, at first, the first dialogue she's having with this character, this other character called Owen, when they're looking down on the town, you know, and they're like, you think we will find him there, blah, blah, blah. So at first, you're a little bit confused about who they're talking about, right? But... And that's from playing, from playing for the first time, not knowing anything about the leaks. That's the, the aesthetic that they're trying to set. Like, you know, the conversation is taking place even in the subtitle is man, woman, until they say each other's name. So they want that mystery to stay hidden over who they're looking for, blah, blah, blah. Right? We didn't know because it was like, why would these people be looking for anybody else? If you're, if, if you are judging the game based on, if you're judging the game based on just going into it, not knowing anything about the leaks. But we saw the leaks, so we know is this girl, this lady that kills Joel, right? But we still needed the context. Now, the scene where Joel gets killed, where they, um, few minutes before that, Joel saves Abby's life like countless times, right? Countless times because she was running from some running from some clickers, blah, blah, blah. Joel and Tommy saw her save their ass, right? And end up in this room. So they got into this room and Tommy is saying, you know, you guys could come to our town, our little town, resupply, blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't know for what reason why Tommy was acting like this. And this is the reason why people are so upset because it doesn't make sense. The character that you set up, the characters that you've set up in part one are not coming over to part two. It's like cause completely different characters after like an hour into the game. Why would he make a mistake like this? It doesn't make any sense when there's super cautious characters because they know people are looking for them. You just offer up your location, your name to complete strangers that you just met. I don't care if we, we, we just saved you. This is, we're talking about the same guy that saw people on the, saw dude getting, <laughs> getting ravaged or whatever. And was like, and then just drove right past them because yo, we, <laughs> we not about that no more. We're not trying to save anybody else out here in these streets. They totally threw all that stuff out the window. Tommy, I, I'm Tommy, right? And then they pan over to Joel and Joel say, um, Joel. And we're like, and then, and then the whole atmosphere changes because these are the people that, are, that they've been looking for them, right? They've been looking for them. So they, so Joel looks around the room and he's like, y'all acting like you heard of us or something. And then it pants to Abby and Abby shotguns him to, to the knee and, and, and say, that's because we have, right? I mean, completely out of character. And then they proceed to doing what they needed to do. They killed Joel right in front of Ellie because Ellie got Ellie was looking for Joel prior to that because they that Joel Jesse came and and told um, Ellie and Dina that Joel they can't find Joel they haven't reported in so they started looking for them right so she ended up going to the house coming through the door saw Joel beaten to a pulp with a golf club and. She was crying, asking them to stop, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Anger, rage, of course, from Ellie. And then Abby did the finishing blow. Joel is dead. Now, this is the part, this is the part of the story where, you know, you're angry. You're angry. I'm angry. 
everybody's angry now because you just killed the main character and the way how we went out is not the way that we wish that Joel went out. Joel should go out as a hero, but hey, it's your story, you're writing it. We're angry. They let Ellie and and Tommy go for some reason. Not even that is explained in the show because they, okay. Okay. They let they let Tommy and Ellie go, right? I'm going to say this. Even though it doesn't really make sense, it kind of makes sense towards the story because it's like, okay, they can't, they're not going to kill them because they had nothing to do with the whole thing, right? Um, so we're on this, 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 this revenge tip now, right? We're going after these dudes, right? And we want that satisfaction. So I'm going to fast forward to the end of the story. You know, I mean, other than the fact that after all of that, after she, after Abby killed Joel, you are forced to play with this character for another 10 hours of the, of the story, right? Another 10 hours of the story, you have to play with this character to see her journey to them meeting up, meeting up again with Ellie for, for having a short standoff of her shooting Tommy in the face. Listen, if they wanted controversy, oh, you got it, buddy, Mr. Neil Druckmann. You got it. You had, con you wanted controversy, you got it. But the problem is, you see, at the end of the story, we don't even get to kill Abby. We had her, and they don't even give you a choice. Usually, certain games that are story-based like this will give you a choice. Do you want to kill this person or, or spear them? right they didn't even give you that they just let ellie let her go you know what i'm saying so we will i don't want to go too much into that just know that that's the most that's the the most pivotal point in this story was joel's death and then we got no satisfaction out of it at the end and that's the reason why people are pissed people are pissed at the way that joel went out and people are pissed that throughout the whole story you, you 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 had to basically spend all this time playing as the joel's killer also you know what i'm saying even you, you get what i'm saying it's not fair it's not fair it wasn't fair it wasn't cool and it just make the, the story just didn't make sense you get what i'm saying like it just didn't make sense and it's just bad in my opinion it was bad writing some people say it was brilliant writing um how is ellie going to have a flashback off joel like seeing him playing the guitar while she holding abby down under water have a flashback of joel and that made her decide not to kill abby come on guys please explain to me why people wouldn't be enraged even more you killed my father figure if anything just like the point of you trying to make of Abby seeking out revenge for her own father. Why wouldn't you let Ellie do the same? I don't, I, I mean, what, you want to stop the cycle here? You got to be kidding me. After I just went, after I just killed countless people to get to this one person when i get to this one person is when i'm going to decide to not to to stop the the i killed a bunch of people that had nothing to do with the situation to get to the one person that is actually responsible for this entire situation And I don't kill him. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. But anyways, let me wrap this up. As I said, I'm not going to play this game. Because I think it's going to be a huge waste of my time. Um, but you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. You know, I'm not going to talk about you know, the, 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 the sex scene and all of this other stuff that is going around. 
I'm not interested in, in none of that. That it happened. It happened. I'm not here to talk about that. You know, I just want to talk about the game as a whole. It's barely, it barely scratched a five for me. Just watching it, you know, um, you have to base you have to base your review on this game on the story. It's a shitty story. It's a it's a badly written story. Some people are gonna look at it and say, "Oh, that's brilliant." But let me ask you guys something that think this game is great. Do you think that the context of the game as a continuance? Listen, I've heard people that played the first game have plenty of hours played in the first game. They even played the multiplayer and they're like, oh, I don't have any problems with the story. And, you know, it is what it is. It's their opinion. I'm not hating them for them for their opinion, but I don't think a lot of these people understand the context of what, what people are upset about. First of all, as I've been cleared about, earlier in this review i do not have a problem with joel's with joel dying i went into this game expecting joel to die in this game why because it's a story it's a great story what would make us cry what would make us feel more in this story is to kill one of these main characters whether it be by a clicker or you know by someone whatever the situation is they're on the run you get what i'm saying we probably could have guessed they weren't going to kill ellie because we expected her to be the, the main character in the story she's grown up you know and then slowly finding out what joel actually did to save her when she was willing to sacrifice herself you know it's just it, it, it's to the point of I don't think they understand the context, but you know, people are going to have their opinions It's whatever can't blame them for their opinions. Right. But in any case, as I said, this barely scratched a five for me. A lot of people is given this. I mean, the scores are ridiculous. The user scores on Metacritic. It's sitting at a three point something ridiculous. Three, I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People do not like this game as a majority. They don't like it. And the main reason is because of the story. If you're judging this base, if you're judging this game based on how beautiful it is, of course, you're going to give this game a 10 out of 10. It's a beautiful game. You get what I'm saying? They didn't change much about the gameplay mechanics, even though they're making it seem like they did. They really didn't. They added a dodge button. <laughs> it gave you other, some new weapons. That's about it. There's a gun bench. The gameplay mechanics haven't changed much. They just made it seem like there's a lot that changed. They added some new, you know, infected uh, monsters. Um, that's about it. But this game was about the story. It was about the story. It's a story of revenge. Um, but it was a shitty story. Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest about it, man. It was a shitty story. Um, that's all I have to say about this game, man. Um, and that's, that's just my experience from watching it. If I was playing this game, I probably would have, I probably would have uninstalled it. You know what I'm saying? I would have uninstalled this game after they killed Joel and the way how he died. Like I probably would have stopped playing it because I'm like, this story ain't going nowhere. <laughs> it really isn't. Is it? I mean, you, you crap crap on the, the character and i'm not saying this because i don't really get i will get upset but i will still watch you get what i'm saying you guys have seen this on my channel when it comes i've been upset about that i've been upset about decisions that characters make but i never stop watching the show you get what i'm saying i don't stop watching the show because i don't i don't i don't let i don't let certain mediums impact me like that you get what i'm saying you know what i mean but if a story is shitty and I have control over it, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm more likely to, to just stop playing it for days or even weeks, months before I, before I go back to it and say, you know what, let me try and see where this ends up, right? But I probably would have stopped playing this game 
for maybe a month or so, to be honest. But in any case, I don't want to drag this out for too long. I've already gone on for too long. But you guys get what where I'm coming from. The story is bad. Everything else about the game, I would say, is A+. Plus. You know what I'm saying? I, I think it's A+. Plus, and that's the reason why I'm even giving it a 5. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's the only reason why I'm even giving this game a 5, to be honest. But... In my opinion, they could have done they could have done way better. I you know I'm not gonna talk about you know hiring people coming whatever, you know what I mean? Like I don't I'm not commenting on that stuff. You know we all know what's been what's been going on, the agendas that are being pushed and all this other stuff. But you still could write good stories, even with that stuff going on. Even with you know if you want to create diversity and all this, you still could get a good story. We're upset about the story. We're upset about the story, guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you watch this review, please consider subscribing to the channel. I don't do, I don't play video games on my channel, but it's something that I'm looking into starting to do later on um, on Twitch, which I'm, I'm going to start doing. I'm just kind of um, trying to figure that stuff out now so that I can start streaming games on twitch and so on and so forth and to do gameplays on the channel anyways i appreciate you guys i really do if you tune in and listen to me for 40 minutes i really do appreciate that but anyways i'll catch you guys later man like the video subscribe if you're new and also leave a comment man let me know what you thought if you've played the game if you have not played the game um hey just let me know peace